Major Slack videos. Hey, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Elden Ring. We are going, we are pushing further up Seed Water Canyon. We're going to go to this location here. Seed Water Cave, an extremely dangerous location. Um, so I strongly recommend that you spend all your money. I have some golden runes. Let's see how many I have. Should be pretty, pretty close to leveling up. And then I'll go hit up the ATM. Hold on, let me swap out my gear here. Don't want that, don't want that. Carrying Regal Scepter, you're on board. What else? Uh, the Hook Claws. Forty-three thousand. Okay, and Mr. Status Green says we need fifty-one thousand, so we have to hit hit up eight guys at the ATM. Okay, one shot these guys with Comet. There we go. I've given a name to this kind of phenomenon that happens to me frequently in Elden Ring. I call it the Detour Time Suck. That's where I'm like, you know, I have an agenda, okay, I'm producing videos, right? I have a specific agenda, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go there. And then I discover some dungeon, you know. I mean, it's, you know, the game is so damn big, you're always bumping into something. And I decide, yeah, okay, um, let's just take a little look-see down here. And it turns out to be some ridiculously challenging dungeon, which I had no intent on doing a video on, but then because I spent like an hour or two trying to figure stuff out in there. I get caught in the fallacy of sunk costs, so because I spent an hour or two doing that, I'm not going to give up. And then I end up spending like half a day trying to figure this stuff out. And meanwhile, what I really originally intended to do is left undone. And then, it's, you know, all of a sudden it's near the end of the day and I'm in a panic to produce the video that I originally intended to do. The Detour Time Suck. I guess for some of you, it's some kind of variation of that, even though you're not producing videos, but I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. This is, the game is just so damn big. Watch, watch it now. Hey, it should be pretty close. How much do we need? I'm just 200 off. Okay, one more. There's a couple down here. That'll do it. Not only that, the game is just so damn wildly interesting, you know. Oh yeah, put points into intelligence, even though we've reached 70. Um, that's 70 with the Twin Sage Glintstone Crown. So, yeah, we're going to keep pushing points into intelligence. Alright, so that's that. Now, we're going to continue to push up Seedwater Canyon. Next stop, like I said, is Seedwater Cave. Um... Let's start off right here, Seed Water River. This next location is extremely dangerous. Starting off with these, what I'm going to call Death Frogs. They apply the Death Blight and um, 
you know, if the meter fills up, you, you die instantly. It's not like, you know, you get poisoned or you get rotted. You die. So we need our best vitality gear. Um, but on the deathbed dress, like, no, no, I, <laughs> this is our best, best vitality armor, but there is, like, what do you think they're happy face? Give me the fuck out of this thing. Okay, 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 okay. No, we're not wearing that, even though that's the best. So second best is commoners, simple garb. Um, got a list here. The Albrecht's bracers. Where are you guys here? And the Albrecht's trousers. There. And that'll give us the best vitality stats we can muster up at the moment. Okay, so you, your miners may vary. Put on your best vitality stats. Make sure you got the common spell going. And let's head up to Seed Water Cave. This is the barrage skill. We don't really need it. That's an annoying little thing. It's just like, keeps going over the rocks. Here we go. Finally got it. No, we don't even need it. But I got it anyways. Okay. Gotta time this right. Okay, and stick to the left side and just head towards the beacon. Now keep your distance from these things. Because like I said, once they, they death blight you, it's it's coitance. It's absolute coitance. Okay, another smithing stone five. Okay, you can see him right there. See them? Those death frogs. They're a force to be reckoned with. Sometimes they group nicely together. Um, hang on, let me, let me focus here. You can one shot them. With a charged a charged comet spell, you can one shot them. Okay, let me focus here. I tell you, these things, uh, I'm more afraid of these things than I am of, like, many bosses in the game. I don't have the cannon. Okay. There you go. Yeah, it should be able to one-shot him if you hit him square with a, a charged comet. Okay, that's not all though. There's more that are going to spawn when you get that pickup way at the end there. Way up there. So let's just uh, suck our knife. All the way to the end. Yeah, stick with the slack and you won't get whacked. Alright, here we go. Oh my gosh. Okay, I didn't mean to have that spill up. Uh oh. I don't like the looks of that. Let's get out of here. There we go. Enemy group refill. Everyone's dead. Good.
one Mason butterfly. Okay, we got a guy outside. Ah, made it. Okay, good. <laughs> so far, so good. Next. This will cost us... Um, I always like to check because the game likes to, you know, be really cagey about exactly how many stone sword keys you're using. So we have seven? <laughs> Pardon me. I think this is a twofer. Okay, let's check again. Cost us two stone sword keys. Okay, so it's gonna cost you two stone sword keys to get in here. But you will get the mushroom set. And I believe there's a stone sword key in there, if I recall correctly. Maybe that's something else I'm thinking of. This is a it's just full of poison throughout the entire cave. And like a typical cave, there's a point of no return, which happens pretty much almost immediately. So the only way to get out once you're in is to fight your way out. You have to you're committed. You have to go all the way to the boss fight. Either that or um you know, you got like a sacrificial twig and you're going to use the memory of grace or something like that. But no, we're going to go all the way. Um I'm tempted to use Comet Azure. I haven't tested that though. I have tested the Cannon of Hyma that works fantastic on uh, on the bosses. It's two of those death roaches. You know the ones you find in Celia Crystal Tunnel? Okay, two of those are the boss enemies um, in this tunnel. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with the one I know. Okay, so everybody out. Rock Sling is not going to be that much useful, so because it's in the tight quarters. Anything Rock Sling? No. So, Comet, Glintstone Shard. The Gavel. The Cannon. Where's my Cannon? Cannon of Hyma. Scholar's Shield, that might be useful. Although I didn't really use it. Oh, definitely. Um, what am I thinking? Of course, Starlight. That's going to help a lot. Maybe a uh, magic glint blade, but I don't think I'm gonna use it. Okay, so comet, Greek glintstone shard, gavel of Hyma, cannon of Hyma, scholar shield, starlight, and let's take this out. That works. All right, here we go. There is a soldier right around the corner. We can just glintstone, or rather, crash this him down like that. Down he goes. And there's one more in here. Down he goes. Oh. That's right, we have to dress for immunity now, before we're dressing for vitality, now we have to dress for immunity. Mr. Laptop, what's my best immunity? Uh, it says the Scarab and the Traveling Garb, hang on. Perfumer's Traveling Garb. Um, this would be your best headgear, although I'm kind of reluctant to take off... Uh, yeah, no, I'm not, I'll stick with the plan. Okay, so, Glintstone Scarab, 
Perfumer's Traveling Garb. Everyone has these if you've been following the walkthrough. Uh, Perfumer's Gloves. I don't know where he got these. I'm not sure if everyone has these. These are slightly better immunity, so I'm going to use these. And finally, the Vulgar Militia Grease. Okay, so that would give me 326, 163 immunity. Oh yeah, and take out those holy pots and put in your big batch of neutralizing boluses. It's going to be very useful. And let's take these out and put in, say, um, crystal darts. Okay, so thusly armed. Let's go to it. Okay, so this is the point of no return. We're committed now. We gotta fight our way out. And down there is poison. So basically, we're gonna drop. We don't want to stay. We don't want to hang around too long in the poison. We're not gonna hang around and fight. We have to proceed with a purpose. So we're gonna drop down, and we're gonna go down this tunnel. As soon as you get out of the tunnel, you're gonna to turn to the left, go to the southwest, and you're gonna go over a waterfalls. And I figure let's go for the boss fight right away because that'll give us a way to get out. Okay, so let's go. There we go. Now we're in the poison. Make a run for it. Turn to the left. Go to the southwest, go down this tunnel, ignore everybody, we don't have time to fight. Don't worry if you get poisoned. Straight down here. Let's take one of our neutralizing boluses. There we go. Go over the waterfalls. Turn to the right. And you're on dry land again. Okay, so down here is the boss fight. Let's just... Could wait till that... Um... At any rate, let's get into our gear while the poison is wearing off. Back into our Burger King helmet, and basically you're dressing for physical damage. So, carrying knight armor, carrying knight grease, and that is good. Although I'm in, I'm in heavy load, um, don't need this medium load. That's great. Okay, so you're going to need the carrying regal scepter. The meteoric core blade, the shield, um, all these are good, just like that. We're not gonna re really need pumpkin head. Well, let me just, uh, I didn't really use him. There's no time with the strategy I had. And did I, yeah, we get the cannon at Hyma. All right, so we're good. Okay, so let's get on down there. have to carefully drop down. At one point we're going to drop into a little cave of rats. It's right down there. You can hear him squealing. So we're going to drop down, use the grab to skill to wipe him out. There we go. Very good. Okay. And this should be a safe drop. Yes, it is. I think there's one more rat down here. Nope, that's the boss fight. It's up here. Yeah, what did you give up? Yeah, nice golden room. Very good. Okay, this is the boss fight. Two death roaches. You would think cast pumpkin head, but it's actually a lot easier if you get the jump on them right away. So, um... Let's get the hook claws ready to go. Okay, so we're gonna use kitchen sink with the buffs. Flask of Wondrous Physic. Uh, Golden Val. Switch back over to, um... The scepter, 
and get the cannon of Haima ready to go. Now, there's going to be one death roach dead ahead and one over there on the left. What we're going to do is we're going to buff up, enter, lock onto that one, and charge the cannon of Haima. Okay? First shot's going to knock him down. You have time to do another one. Charge it again. That's going to leave him within an inch of his life. Then we're going to switch over to our sword, rush him, and whack him to death. And I'll just leave one. Once the one is left, just shield up. And if we could get really close right up in his face and um, do a guard counter. If you, like, stagger him with a guard counter, he could instantly kill him with a uh, crit hit. All right, so that's the plan. Let's do it. Got him. Wow. Two shots. Great. Dude. Dude. You ever see such a boss fight? Kicked their fucking asses. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Who loves you? That worked way better than practice runs. How come I still poison? Wow. That was awesome. I didn't impress myself even. <laughs> okay, and what do we get? We got this um this talisman that is very situational. Is that what we got? This right here, the Kindred of Rot's Exaltation. Poison and Rot in the vicinity increases attack power. So, you could, like, poison yourself to put this in effect, but I don't know, I'm not a big fan of that. I may fool around with the leader, but that's what we got rewarded with. Hey, thumbs up for the slack, sir. How about that, eh? D just messed them right up. <laughs> Drop that guy with two cannon shots. Um... I guess the uh, the extra intelligence really helped. You know, if you're smarter already, yeah, you do, eh? <laughs> okay, so that's it. So we took care of them. So now we can use this to get back to the beginning. Let's go after the mushroom set now. All right, same dealio. Um, dress for poison. Mr. Laptop, what is my poison gear? My poison gear is, oh yeah, the scarab. Traveling garb. Perfumer's gloves and vulgar militia agrees. Perfumer's gloves and vulgar militia agrees. Okay. All right, and so basically, comment. Okay, just want to top everything off. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay, and we don't need um, 
this guy in the weapon roll. Let's take him out. Alright, it's so the same deal. Um, drop down at the poison, run down to the end of the tunnel, turn to the left, go to the southwest. Don't bother fighting everything because you're going to get poisoned. And um, when, this time when we go over the waterfalls, we're going to go to the right. Alright, let's do it. Drop down. Straight down. Turn to the left. Go to the southwest. Down this tunnel. <laughs> Just in time. Over the waterfalls. And it's time to go to... Or sorry. We went to the right first time. The first time. This time we go this way. So like, over the waterfalls, to the southwest. I mean, getting poisoned again. All right, and this is the rat tunnel. You can easily wipe these guys out using a little gravitas. That guy was just looking like you. Yeah. Hi there. Okay, very good. Alright. Comet ready to go. We're gonna way up here. You could backstab that guy, but there's a guy across the way that'll start shooting at you if you do. There he is right there. Let's just go around the corner and get this guy. Got him, great. Okay. And this guy right here. You gotta take care of him. Here he comes. Okay, this is typical. Actually, this is common as soon as we get a line of fire. Got him. Beautiful. Okay, don't worry about that guy. We're going down to the southeast. In here, you want to switch over to the Cannon of Haima. Make sure you got enough gas in the tank. And all these guys you can wipe out with one cannon shot. Make sure you target the, the furthest guy in the middle, like that. Nice. <laughs> and for the big flower, just repeatedly cast Comet on it. I would say charged common shots. That thing right there, we gotta take that thing down. Okay, let's go for it. there is the mushroom gear. The mushroom arm is it. Let's go grab it. No, grab it. There we go. You are now in possession of the highest immunity gear in the game. Looks ridiculous. But it works. <laughs> Highest immunity gear in the game. Um, let me just have some anti-poison chewing gum here. There we go. And what's this over here? Oh, it's toxic mushroom figures, huh? <laughs> Alright, well that is pretty much all the business I have in here. I don't I really don't enjoy wandering around in the poison trying to fight all these guys. 
even with the mushroom gear. It's a pain in the arse. So let's just get out of here. By retracing our steps down the rat tunnel and going back to the boss room. Okay, so we go down this way to the boss room, and of course they're still dead. You see, you see already that the mushroom gear is providing better protection than my other gear. But you still eventually get poisoned. It just slows down the poison buildup. Same deal here, there's some rats down there. Should be a safe drop. We are out of here. See the water cave. Okay, there's more stuff in there. Um, I don't think if I, if I recall, I have gone through the entire place, um, but. Um, like I said, I didn't find it worth it. Just wandering around in all this poison, you're constantly healing yourself, even with the mushroom gear. We got the most important stuff. We got the mushroom gear, and we did the boss fight. That's it! <laughs> okay, happy face, you you prefer this to the, the lady's dress? Yes. Okay, well, <laughs> your call. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching. And uh, if you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, post a comment and tell your friends about my channel. All right, see you next time for some more Elden Ring. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, all right? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.